Heartbreak can be painful. It can bring some intense emotional agony and grief. Being broken-hearted isn't just limited to relationships. Losing a loved one, losing a job, switching careers and losing a close relative or friend can also bring about a broken heart. Happenings like this can leave a person demoralized and feeling like their world is about to end. As a result of this, a broken heart will require time to heal. However, in the time when one is trying to be healed of a broken heart, there are things you can do to strengthen yourself until the healing comes and remains final. This way, you will be able to protect yourself emotionally. In this video, I'll be sharing with you 25 ways to deal with a broken heart. 1. Give yourself permission to grieve. We don't all grieve the same way. Therefore, it's said to allow yourself to let out all your pain, guilt, disgust, loneliness and anger. By so doing, you encourage those around you to feel their own grief and to be able to express it. This way, they will not feel like they're all alone. When you do this, you may never have to feel like you're alone in your pain and grief anymore. You just might find that a friend's gone through similar pain and has some pointers for you. 2. Take care of yourself. When your heart is broken, you can forget to take good care of yourself. Going through this distressing time will not just affect your emotional well-being, it will also affect you physically. When you're emotionally affected, it can also be transferred to your physical well-being. It can be tough to maintain physical well-being during this time, but you can simply make an effort to eat and stay hydrated, which can go a long way. Take it slow, one day at a time. 3. Lead the way in letting people know what you need. Christian Carpenter, PhD, a psychologist in the Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Medicine at The Ohio State University, Wexner Medical Center, says, Everyone copes with loss in their own way. Be clear about whether you prefer to grieve privately, with the support of close friends, or with a wide circle of people accessible through social networks, getting your need out there will save you from trying to think of something in the moment and will allow someone who wants to be supportive to help you and make your life easier by checking something off your list. 4. Write down what you need, aka the note card method. Make a list of the things you need, both emotional and physical support. When you have listed the things you need help with, it becomes easy to know what needs to be done. Now, when people ask how they can help, you can easily refer to your list of needs and have them choose what they can help you out with. This way, you will not have to struggle to communicate your needs to anyone when you're asked on the spot. 5. Go outdoors. Spend some time outdoors. Some researchers have proven that when you spend at least two hours outdoor, it will aid you mentally and physically. Just taking a walk around your neighborhood regularly can help. 6. Read self-help books and listen to podcasts. When you read self-help books or listen to podcasts, you learn what others have gone through and how they overcame their grief. This can, in turn, help you fight through this period of distress, and you will not feel all alone, knowing you have people who share similar experiences with you. Listening to podcasts and reading books can also help you understand how you ought to channel your emotions rightly. 7. Try a feel-good activity. Find activities that make you feel better, make you feel optimistic about the situation, or that make you laugh at least every day. You can schedule a time of the day for this. You don't have to do so much of it, but if you have to, go ahead. You can watch comedic movies, or simply write or meet with friends and acquaintances who encourage you to talk and to laugh. Moments of fun like this can expedite the healing of your broken heart. 8. Seek professional help. You should seek professional help, as it is often beautiful to share your feelings with others. This may not be an easy task, but in going about it, you might feel relieved of the emotional burden faster than you imagined. Using this extra help can hasten your healing time. When you discover your grief is burdensome, you can talk to an expert to help you work through it so you are not mentally affected by your grief. Sessions with professional help can help you discover simple ways to deal with your grief. 9. Build good habits. It is great to give yourself some time to grieve and also wonderful to pay attention to meeting your needs. When you have done this, you should again try to create some routines and habits that will help you continue to get over your loss. These habits will help you manage your grief faster and become a better person after all is over. 10. Don't try to suppress the pain. Dr. Carpenter says, don't waste energy on feeling ashamed or guilty about your feelings. Instead, invest that energy in making concrete efforts to feel better and to heal. Set aside some few minutes each day to admit your sadness. You don't have to ignore it. Just spend those moments to acknowledge it. When you do this, you may discover your sadness stops occurring less and less with time. 11. Practice self-compassion. To have self-compassion is to treat yourself with love and respect without putting yourself down or judging yourself. How would you treat a friend or a relative 
or an acquaintance who is going through tough times, what would you say to them? What would you offer them? How do you show them that you care? Take all of these answers and apply them to yourself. 12. Create space in your schedule. When you are going through a difficult time, it can be easy to distract yourself with activities. While this can be helpful, make sure you're still leaving yourself some space to process your feelings and have some downtime. 13. Foster new traditions. If you've ended a relationship or lost a loved one, you may feel like you've lost a lifetime of traditions and rituals. Holidays can be incredibly hard. Allow friends and family to help you create new traditions and memories. Don't hesitate to reach out for some extra support during major holidays. 14. Write it down. Once you've had some time to sit with your feelings, journaling can help you better organize them and give you a chance to unload any emotions that might be hard to share with others. 15. Find a support team. Regularly attending or engaging in in-person or online support groups can provide you a safe environment to help you cope. It's also healing to share your feelings and challenges with those in similar situations. 16. Connect with yourself. Going through a significant loss or change can leave you feeling a little unsure of yourself and who you are. You can do this by connecting to your body through exercise, spending time in nature, or connecting with your spiritual and philosophical beliefs. 17. Keep some things in mind. As you navigate the process of healing a broken heart, it's helpful to have realistic expectations about the process. From pop songs to room comms, society can give a warped view of what heartbreak actually entails. 18. Your experience is valid. The death of a loved one is the more overt form of grief, Palumbo explains, but covert grief can look like the loss of a friendship or relationship, or maybe you're starting a new phase of life by changing careers or becoming an empty nester. Whatever it is, it's essential to validate your grief. This simply means recognizing the impact it's had on your life. 19. It's not a competition. It's natural to compare your situation to that of others, but heartbreak and grieving aren't a competition. Just because it's the loss of a friendship and not the death of a friend doesn't mean the process isn't the same, says Palumbo. You're relearning how to live in the world without an important relationship you once had. 20. There is no expiration date. Grief is not the same for everyone and it has no timetable. Avoid statements like, I should be moving on by now, and give yourself all the time you need to heal. 21. You can't avoid it. As hard as it might feel, you have to move through it. The more you put off dealing with painful emotions, the longer it will take for you to start feeling better. 22. Expect the unexpected. As your grief evolves, so will the intensity and frequency of heartbreak. At times, it'll feel like soft waves that come and go. For some days, it might feel like an uncontrollable jolt of emotion. Try not to judge how your emotions manifest. 23. You'll have periods of happiness. Remember that it's okay to fully experience moments of joy as you grieve. Spend part of each day focusing on the present moment and allow yourself to embrace the good things in life. If you're dealing with the loss of a loved one, this might bring up some feelings of guilt, but experiencing joy and happiness is crucial to moving forward. And forcing yourself to stay in a negative state of mind won't change the situation. 24. It's okay not to be okay. A profound loss, like the death of a loved one, is going to look vastly different from a job rejection, notes therapist Victoria Fisher, LMSW. In both cases, it's imperative to allow yourself to feel what you're feeling and remember that it's okay not to be okay. Even if you're doing everything you can to work through your heartbreak, you'll probably still have off days. Take them as they come and try again tomorrow. 25. Seek self-acceptance. Don't expect your sufferings to go away sooner than when it's ready. Try to accept your new reality and understand that your grief will take some time to heal. The hard truth of going through loss is that it can change your life forever. There will be moments when you feel overcome with heartache, but there will be others when you see a glimmer of light. For some grief, as Fisher notes, it's a matter of surviving for a while until you gradually build a new, different life with an open space for the grief when it arises. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.